What's going on guys? So right here, we have this new little product here. It's not really new necessarily, but I got my hands on it. So I figured I'd give it a shot. My wife's gonna try it on her phone. I'm probably not going to put it on mine. Let's just be real here. But uh, basically it's pop sockets. And what this is, is a nice little phone grip and stand for your phone. It has like a 3M adhesive back. You can just simply pop it up one time if you only want one height or you can pop it up twice if you want it to be a little bit taller. And so essentially what this does is you're supposed to be able to use it as like a kickstand to hold your phone up on your desk to watch a video, or the main reason for it is you put your hands in it this way and you can hold it and that way you can hold on to the phone a little bit better. So we're gonna test this out. And then this one here is the mount for the pop socket. Now, basically what this is, is you just slide this piece inside here and it will hold it and you stick this into your car. And this allows you to have a nice mount for in your vehicle. So stick around and I'm gonna try to apply this thing to the back of my wife's phone case here. And we'll test it out in the car and see what it's like. All right, first and foremost, I noticed that I didn't bring a pair of scissors with me. This says to cut here to open. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see me try to do without a pair of scissors. Let's see if I can just rip it, which apparently you can. So that's good. Open this bad boy up. Press to release. And there we go. So package is open, throw that out of the way. Essentially it just says, is there, sticks of phones, tablets, cases can be repositioned. So let's see, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We got this here. Try not to bump the camera around too badly. All right, so pop, collapse, move, pop me twice, wrap me, tuck your buds and uh, just distance. Uh, remove me, don't pull on my button. Wash me, rinsable adhesive. So the adhesive is rinsable, so you can just wash it off whenever you wanna remove it. Uh, lower me for a video chat. See how to assemble and disassemble me on YouTube. All right, so you can do a customizable ones. You can put a photo on it instead of this little image here. You can actually get a photo of your family or something along those lines and put it on there. So I guess it's movable. So once you put it on, it's not like permanent. So if, say like you put it here and you want it down here for a voice chat, you can do that or you can move it up here. I would probably just stick it and leave it to be honest with you because um, we all know that adhesive and everything, the more times that you stick it onto something, the, the less grippy it's gonna get. So let's let's be real here. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get this as in the center as possible. So let me see how big of a pain in the ass it's gonna be to pull this plastic piece off here. Okay, wasn't too bad. So, oh my God, that is sticky. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna try to line this up. It might go off camera here for a minute just so I can get it as lined up as possible. So let's see, that looks pretty centered. So I'll just, oh, sorry about shaking the camera around. All right, so it's on there. As you can see, and we can just pull it, pop it up once, pull it again, it pops up twice, and now you, it's holding the phone. So that's exactly what it's for. And then you can prop it up like this, and watch a video. So let's see here. Let's see if I can. Do a little bit of self promotion here. Okay. 
so boom there you go so it props up the phone uh, last night i was bored i was just kind of like you know bruising i made the video on my other channel man who is um, that good looking guy where i had been looking at my channel uh my old channel techopia tv this one here looks really clear and i like it all right so anyway it look it works just like as as advertised i mean it, it it's it it's perfect I mean, I don't necessarily know that if I could really deal with it being on the back of my phone, but it is quite nice to be able to have the phone just kind of sit in your hand and not slide around, not fall out, especially for the larger phone. I probably would have maybe put it a little bit lower, but overall, it's not horrible. Um, you could probably definitely see you putting it a little bit lower because if it was, I mean, I guess you could hold it down with these two fingers instead and be able to access things because like I can't really reach down here. But if it was down here a little bit further, it may have been a little bit better, but it says you can reposition it. But anyway, another thing is your phone doesn't lay flat anymore. I mean, it, it still lays flat, um, just as far as the the actual piece help, helping it lay flat, because it itself is flat, but it rocks. I don't know how much I really care for that, but all in all, it's not horrible. And uh, so yeah, you can pop it out once. If you, if you have smaller fingers, you can pop it out again. Boom. So. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out exactly where my wife wants to mount the mount for the pop socket, mount on your dashboard or anywhere. I mean, you literally can mount it. It says mount the phone on your dashboard, bathroom, mirror, refrigerator, bed post, wall, locker, or almost anywhere. So you can basically just, it's 3M adhesive, just like the other one. Just peel it off, stick it wherever you want it. Boom, you're done. So yeah. Pretty interesting stuff though. Uh, so yeah, well let's uh, go hop into the car and I'll find out exactly where my wife wants to put this thing and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so essentially we have the 3M sticky tape here. So you just need to take this off and find out where you need to put it. We kind of had to uh, move it around quite a bit. We were trying to decide if we wanted to have it here so that way we didn't block any of the buttons. We thought about having it over here, but that just wasn't really gonna work out either because the cable for my wife's radio and music and everything was really going to cause uh, a pain there. So what I'm going to do is try to get it as far over to the side as possible here. So it doesn't block the buttons. And I'll just push it on. Make sure it's nice and stuck on there good. And then now we have my wife's phone with the clip back on it. And then you just slide it down. Just like that. So there you go. Nice and easy. It does look like it will be able to swivel a little bit. Might bounce around a little bit with some bumps. But we'll just have to test that out. And uh, yeah, so all in all, it looks like it's okay. Um, I probably will take it for a drive and just kind of mention it. I'm not gonna videotape the drive probably, but um, because we got some pretty bumpy roads where we live for, at, at the moment. So anyway, uh, that's basically how it goes on and it looks like it's actually uh, pretty decent. So I'd say it's not too bad. What do you think? I don't know yet. Don't know yet, you gotta wait until we drive it a little bit more. All right, well, there you go. See ya. All right, so we took the thing out into the car and we mounted it and everything as you can see and basically what happened was uh, we took it for a quick test drive we drove down um, just kind of picked a random place to have it navigate us to and so we were as we were driving down the road I just kind of had my wife switch it between portrait and landscape and I am actually pretty impressed to be quite honest she was impressed as well and it actually ended up working out a lot better than I thought it was going to. It does, there's no wiggle, there's no shake, there's no movement. It's easy just because it's round that it, you can easily just rotate it around to portrait if you want it in portrait. It didn't block her AC vent nearly as much as what we thought it was going to really, if at all. 
And uh, so yeah, it ended up working out really, really well. And so all in all, I'd have to say we're pretty happy with the product. I think the the actual pop, it's the little popper for the handle itself was 10 bucks by itself. And the um, hanger for the car was 10 bucks as well. Um, so all in all, it was like 20 bucks for the, and we, uh, the you know, for the kickstand. Um, it makes it easier to hold the phone. And uh, we were able to hang it up in the car and it actually worked out pretty well. So all in all, gotta say two thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next one.